they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who can ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor is sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of our salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be he lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. And we all say, Amen. Praise God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we glorify your name. We worship you because you are God. We thank you, O oh God, that you are Lord of our lives, Lord of every situation. There is nothing that you do not know, and there is nothing that you are not concerned about. And so this evening, God, we thank you for another opportunity that as a family, as people, that we can come together in this fashion. We thank you for giving us this virtual space that we can come and that we can share, that we can be enlightened, informed, Oh, God, and challenge. Lord, we dedicate this evening's activities in your hands. We pray for Mr. Anthony Lane. We thank you, God, for him that he has availed himself to be a part of us. We thank you for each and every one that has joined, oh, God, our families, our friends, our church brethren and sisters. We thank you, God, and we pray for those who will join. We pray that we'll have a good evening, a good night. God, everything that we do or say, we want your name to be glorified. So we say glorify yourself amongst us tonight as we give you all glory and all praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless God. Amen. So I want amen. thank you. I want to make a special welcome to everyone this evening. It is indeed a pleasure. I know that there are so many other activities going on. It's a Friday evening. So many of us have other things going on. Some of us are tired. I know our presenter rushed from work and he is here with us this evening. And so we thank God that, you know, all of us are here in our right mind. And though things are not going on the way that we want them to go, but God is indeed faithful, right? Amen. And so... Um, Sister Nathanae, are you on? All right. So on behalf of our family life ministries from the Port Antonio New Testament Church of God, we want to welcome you again. We trust and hope that tonight's session will be informative, especially to those of us like myself who can't cook so well. Or uh, maybe you know need a little more prepping up and some things. Um, those who are viewing on Facebook and on Instagram. Hi, so nice and nice sister in law. <laughs> um, and others. We will have a wonderful time. And we're not going to take up much time. Um, anybody have any quick one minute testimony you want to share? Anybody have anything quickly you want to share? Go get on with it. Stacy? Yes, my husband is home. Praise God. Ah, I know that you must be happy. Indeed, indeed. I'm glad about both. All right. So I'm going to introduce to you tonight our very able um 
I don't know if he's a, uh, but he will give you more information. He is um, Mr. Anthony Lane. Um, I wanted to open your mic and put your hands together so I can hear them as we make welcome our special guest chef tonight, Mr. Anthony Lane. And he will tell you more about himself, right? And what we're going to be treated with tonight. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Lane. Um, is everyone hearing me? Loud and clear. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, let's say good night again. Um, my name is Anthony Lane. Um, in channel on YouTube, you can do follow me at Chef Anthony Lane. You on Instagram, Chef Anthony Lane. Um, Snapchat. Anthony Lane at eight. So I also do the video on YouTube so you can go on my channel and learn other things. Um, I'm just going to do something simple, something to showcase my skills and my unique. Uh, um, I love to cook. I don't know how to describe how much cooking is my passion. Um, I grew up in a family, so I assume that's where I get it from. Um, I am uh, of the University of Technology, where my major in food service. Um, I work at the French Man School, and I, was, I do a little waiter, chef, everything. So today, something very simple, affordable, and um, I'll be doing uh, sliced fish and with some in coconut sauce, complement with some market vegetable served with fried rice plantain. So. Let me just tilt my camera down. Uh, everyone can see? Yes. Yes. Everyone can see? I can see. All right, so I have okra a medium sized carrot a large a large tomato some scallion i have two ripe plantains i have a small sweet pepper some thyme and uh pumpkin one and a half of potato irish potato and this is what we're gonna for today with the fish. Alright. So I have some cucumber. All I'm going to do is stick a knife inside and spin it like this. You get it. 
Um, Auntie, you're, bro you're breaking up a little. Go ahead. You're breaking up a little. Just... In and out a little. Probably is my connection is a little bad. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let me... Everyone seeing the cutting board? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to split. So I get all the seeds out that of out of the cucumber. This is a large carrot. So I cut it in half and then in another half. Tomato. Half. Cut it in another half. This is my onion. Half. And we're going to julienne the onion now. some time right here. I have a small sweet pepper in two and I would like to get the seeds out. So I see my hands and then pull. You don't want to waste it to try like get these piece off. No, this can use seeds out. So we're also gonna julien we have some so this is a technique. It's like this. You want to get it too small and you don't want to get it too big. So the slanting eye. So it's like this. So as you can see, very sharp and I'm getting comfortable with my knife. So 
I'm not afraid of it, but I just get comfortable with my utensils. And this is my pumpkin. I would use another knife just to get this. Pumpkin. I have some large diced pumpkin. So it's large dice. What I do is I try to get all in the same order and unique. This is my skeleton. is my little plate with so four pieces of sliced fish here. So I'm going to season and set it down to marinate. Chef Lane. I'm here. I have a question to ask you. Um, I knew that it is sure. sliced fish, but what, what type of sliced fish are you using? Um, this slice to me like it's either kingfish or German fish. Okay. I bought it at the supermarket, so I'm not sure. Okay. So, but with my type of cooking that I'm using, I think like the kingfish or the German fish should be for why? Because um, I'm cooking it in sauce. This fish is that I don't want anything too soft. So it's when I'm cooking it, it don't like part. So you have other fish like um, Diego, you have uh, those are very soft. You cannot cook too long and it easily, easily, easily. So I go for like either kingfish or the German. I'll show you what I'm going to season it with. So I use the Goya, all purpose seasoning. I use, and I use some pink salt. I choose less MSG in my seasoning, in my cooking because, you know, MSG, very, very dangerous and it's not healthy with your body. So I try and also this is my jerk season that I make for myself. So this is pepper, pepper Hilda, um, beef thyme, other known as French thyme, onion, scallion, pimento, and thyme season that I blend. 
and I put a little of the preservative and a little salt to bring the flavors. So, and it's, it's scotch bonnet pepper, it's hot, but I love it. So if you want to know the season, I'll be uploading a video for it because the person been asking me in a video how to make this season tomorrow. So you can check my YouTube channel to know uh, Anthony's favorite jerk sauce. That is what I call it because I use it like that. So it's done. So I always like to pour all my seeds, you know. So I don't really do like this because you know most probably had too much or your food gets salty and stuff. So I pour, which is more handy for me, so I can easily like get the portion that I need. So what I this is a mustache, so I do a sprinkle. And then I rub it on a little bit. Sprinkle and rub. And this is my Goya all purpose. And this is a pink salt. Flip over. Miss Dash. Pink salt. So I'm going to set this aside so it can marinate. You see? You see? You need a help. Okay, so we're going to go right to the store. So I would have my little niece, my little video personnel, just help me in the video while showcasing the cooking, okay? Oops. Hmm? Okay. So, uh, Chef Lane, for persons who may not know, 
Um, how many minutes would you leave the fish to marinate for? Uh, the fish can be left for like probably about eight to 10 minutes, because knowing the fact that I am going to cook it sauce, knowing the fact that I'm going to cook it in a sauce, because if I'm frying it first, I would probably say about 15 minutes, but not so long still, 15 minutes. Um, knowing the fact that, as I said, I'm cooking it in a sauce, so it's gonna take like probably about five, six, seven minutes. Anyone? So this is my little niece. He's going to be my video personnel today. All right. camera so this is two cup of coconut powder I mix so I know So we're gonna wait to bring, let it like boil a little, and then we're gonna add our vegetables, and then we're gonna have, should be the last thing we're going to add. Mm -hmm. My fingers still in my way. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. So everyone, anyone have any question to ask? No. Yes. No question? Nobody wants to find out anything? Anybody unsure about anything? Oh, yes, I wanted to find out. You said something about julienne, the onion, the onion and the sweet pepper. Sweet pepper. What does that mean? Um, so, you see me? Mm -hmm. So, um, julienne. This is what I'm talking about. This the julienne is just a special. So you all different cuts like small dice, medium dice, large dice. And so you have all different every cuts of vegetables have their own name. The julienne is mostly like long. So, mm -hmm. so this is what I mean by julienne. Okay, okay. Yes. And then this is what I mean about a large dice, large dice. And then so the okra, you say I cut it on the bias. So this is like when I said I cut it on the bias. Yeah. 
seem like or uh, another question why do you remove the seeds from the cucumber go ahead i didn't hear you why do you remove the seeds from the cucumber how do i do that why why did you remove those you could you cook why? it with oh. yes why because when i'm cooking it i don't want the seed to like the seed to be all over in the pot i remove the seed and a lot of persons um they don't dwell with cucumber sometimes they say it rests on their chest or they can't digest it and stuff like that so that i remove it i mean if you're cooking with it and you want to see it then sure it's no problem. but i don't i don't like to cook with it because when i cook with it you know the seed the plate so that's the reason why i don't if okay. it's like probably like a raw vegetable i'm doing then sure because i would i wouldn't have to do so storing and all of that so the seed didn't fall all over the place yes thank you no problem how oh. how oh. no it's coming to a boil right here now you can start seasoning this because this is this would be a and you need flavor in your base so you can start seasoning this right now so i had a little spice as i said before anthony's favorite is very hot so i had a little So I'll be using the same season that I used to season the fish. The Goya all purpose, the pink salt, the Miss Dash. And you can go ahead and taste it when you want. So, my sauce. Um, so, chef, what is the difference between the pink? Huh? What's the difference between the pink salt and the regular salt? Well, the salt is more healthy. It has zero calories. Uh, uh, total fat zero sodium the 550 mg carbohydrate is zero so it's more healthy than the regular salt but the reason why i cook with so many things because uh, my mother she traveled with hypertension so i cannot use um so i cannot use anything with msg for my mother so when I'm in the house, I'm cooking most healthiest seasons to protect the health of my mom and my other families. So as I said, I'm going ahead and had all my vegetables. So this is what it looks like. So we're gonna just cook it a little bit so the seasons and the vegetable, the seasons can dissolve and the vegetables to like tenderize a little. 
at the fish. So while the fish is cooking, the vegetable is cooking also. So we don't have a, like cooking down and falling apart because we need our vegetables to go and we need them a little crunchy so that, you know, can also don't want to cook it too much to like kill all the flavors in the vegetables. Hot. So I'm just gonna cover this and leave it probably a minute or two and then so put it up to me now. So does anyone have any more remarks? Any questions? Any any other questions maybe not relating to what? I have, I have, I have questions, Chef. Um, yes. Not too long ago, you said um, with the vegetable, you don't want it to get like, say, for instance, soggy. It have to be crunchy and the yes. other form for crunchy is supposed to be al dente. Yes. Thank so you. you want you want it. So what if it gets uh, it, it, it get soggy? What would happen? What would it break? It's 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 more like how you like your food. Put it this way, because cooking isn't designed for anyone special. It's how you like it. So if you know a lot of vegetable in their food, and you know like they cook it right through, and then you know they make it time, then it gets softened, and then it will like dissolve in the gravy. So I like to cook with my vegetables. So actually, when I present food when I like I like to present my food and you see the vegetables say so I love vegetables and I try not to cook all the nutrient vegetables so I still like to even when I'm doing like cabbage and stuff like I always have to leave a little crunchy in it because that's how I love my vegetables and as I it's not how I want to do it or how you want it's it's more like how you do it so you are more likely to do to cook it to want yes chef and uh, and another thing so, um when the when the vegetable got um when it's too cooked you will not see all the different condiments that you put inside here because number one, food supposed to be eye appealing. So some presentation yes. is the key. So you have to be able to see the different stuff in it because you eat with the eye first. But as I said before, everyone has their own cooking method and everyone's cooking style. So if you like your, for example, some person will start cooking there like, curry chicken or you no, know, they will cut all the vegetables and just put it in a pot one time and then it's gonna cook and cook and cook and then you see like the sweet pepper you just take it time and this because it's cooked so many or it cooks so, so long it takes a little time and it break the pieces and then it just like fade away in the pot so and so what I do I cook it a little so like, no, this is a problem. So when I put the fish in, the time, no, when the fish takes to cook, it also maintain a little crunchiness. So everything on this, I present it. You should see the sweet peppers. You should see the onions, the carrot, thing else. So I'm going ahead and put the fish in. Uh, 
and we're just gonna cover this. And as I said before, everyone has their own style, their own cooking method. Um, cooking doesn't design you, it's how you want it. As someone pointed out before, put their eye first, as they say normally, persons eat with their eye first. To present my food, a lot of colors, you know, appealing. Also, my presentation of food is supposed to grab your attention to say, yes, eat this now. That's before you even smell or eat it. Just you want to eat it right away. So I like that's how I like to I like to present with all my vegetables, everything showing. I want to see the tomato, onions, sweet peppers. I want to see all of that. So I like to create my vegetables showing. And as I said, a lot of persons don't like vegetables, so they will like try to until it dissolves. Nothing is wrong. Don't get me wrong, but oh, I cook. I don't like that type of cooking. Uh, before cooking doesn't design for no one. It's how you want it. All right. As you can see. Just gonna flip. And we're gonna pop up. Smells good. good. So I'm going ahead and
All right, so, so our ripe plantain. Our plantain that we're gonna fry. So this is our fish. So as you can see, the fish is start cooking. So, it's, so and we don't want to cook it like like this. We don't want any all the fish to so turn it. All right, so potato. Notice how I cut the potato thin. So it's going to cook very easily. This is my potato, very thin, as you can see, it's very thin. That's it. Cover it. Just a little more, and then we are ready. I have some coconut oil. So as I go along, feel free to question. I said if you're unsure about anything, you can ask. I'm willing to ask. If anyone have any question, you may ask. Any questions? How long do you have to marinate the fish? Like right now, we mar well, I marinate the five to six minutes. Before I'm cooking it in a sauce. So it, if I was using like IR, we're gonna pan stir it or anything like that. 
I would allow it to so we can like get all the flavors and the seasoning in. The way how you making it, you could put crackers in it as well, can you? Repeat that, please. The way how you making it, you could add crackers to it as well, right? Yes, I do. And I normally wait until it's almost finished. The crackers, because we don't want to add the crackers now. To make the crackers like soft and soggy. Oh, Some okay. person like it, but I can add it when, when it's almost finished. Oh, okay. Yes. So I uh, basically I use the same fish, steaming fish, but the difference is I like cook it down in a cook. Like some person would probably say the same thing as steamed fish. We start doing a steam fish, you know, everyone has their own different methods because you know use um cut new uh water and cut cook their steam fish or water and season to cook their steam fish but as a it's the same method of cooking a steam fish but the only thing the difference is i start coconut milk first and i start with all the vegetables and then the fish the reason for that is i want all the vegetables and the fish to have the coconut tea so that's the reason why i decide to start with the coconut first the vegetables and then add the fish. So how long you made the coconut milk started on first? How long did that go for? Well, this is from 10 minutes. Oh, so you make the coconut milk it's by itself, stay on for like I 10 mixed minutes? It first. Yes, I, I mixed it out like two cup of cup of coconut milk and I dissolve it with the coconut powder and I dissolve so I get two cups out of it. And then oh. I start with that first. And then I see mm -hmm. add a little spice and a little more season, the same season that I use to season the fish. Right. And the vegetables. And then I had the fish. Okay. So as you can see, they are still the same. They are not dissolved. You can see, you can still see my tomatoes. So it's not dissolved. Rats, they still obtain their shapes and they are soft. So what I'll do now, I'll just turn my stove down it and leave it. I'm going to add my plantings now. And there is also a technique that a lot of persons don't know about frying things in. You put it down and spray it away from it so it don't flash to you. So you don't like Throw it in the pot like that. You put it down and pull it away from you. Interesting. Yes. So it doesn't flash or anything like that. So you notice I put it down and I, so I'm not afraid. That makes sense though, when you think about it. Never thought about that, but that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
Mm -hmm. So you see my fish. So it's off now. Oh. And then, as I said before, if you're doing this, no is like the perfect for crackers. And leave it like leave it for probably a couple of seconds or a minute and a half just to allow the crackers to be cooked. Because you know, once the the liquid hits the crackers, it'll be softened same time. Okay, so, so it's my planting, and I just use a uh, Napkin just to like get some of the goo. Uh, so plating, so you will see. You're sharing out mine, Chef. <laughs> Repeat that, please. Is that mine? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll send you um, a taxi. Just, I just need the address. That's it. <laughs> so 
move it. So as I said before, take my food. I like all my vegetables to be sure. And the next thing eating is to try to get height in your food. So try to lay a bed and then I try to put some of the ripe plantings on top. And then what I do is I had some at the bottom and then I place my fish with some on the So be my plate of food and I, I hope you learn something from it. Any questions? Question time, comment time. Yes. Repeat that, please. I was just encouraging them to ask questions. Just encouraging them. You're just encouraging the participants here to ask questions. Okay, okay. Do any question right now? Since we have come to the ending of my cooking, I'll take any. Good night. I'd like to find out why I didn't use a plain dish, a plain background dish. A plain dish. Um, if you notice the shape, sorry. If you notice the shape of the dish, this is a fish plate. Didn't use, um, I didn't use a normal or like this one, I use uh, doing fish. So you have different size in fish plates. I like this one because it's small and I'm not doing a large fish to get any big. But every plate has their own um, definition of, of dish you use. So like if I'm using this plate, plate in a day, or do something with rice or some vegetables where I have enough space. Or for example, so first thing, if I was using this plate, I would have my meat kind here and vegetables here, and then I would have my rice here. And then I'll also like, us, you know, just to present it off. So as I said before, every plate has, has according to the dish that you're preparing. So I use that set again because it's a fish plate and I'm doing a fish dish. That's why I use this plate. You understand? Are you hearing me? Yes, I think she get it. Yes. I don't oh, know if okay. she, she got disconnected or any other questions? Chef, I wasn't speaking as to that whether it was a fish dish or not. I oh, was oh. asking why is it that you didn't use a plain background dish? Oh, no problem, no problem. Uh, so did you hear what I said about yes, I heard what you said. Okay, okay, okay. So normally like a plate like this, because you notice it have a little watch it. It's a uh it's it's not a bowl, but a plate and bowl in one. So this like this little part right here is just like the, 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 the sauce that you have for a fish. 
and then you can go. I notice how I present my food, anything is not hanging off. Or we have plate in our food. So, like, you know, if persons have been vegetables, you will see probably a for a lettuce hanging off or anything up on here hanging off. So, hurt we have plated. So, notice everything is inside of the plate and it's not no. Chef? Go ahead. I don't think she's talking about that what you're saying. I think she's talking about why didn't you use a plain plate? Like even a white plate, because you realize that the plate that you have used just now has pattern in it. So I think maybe that is a question she's asking. I could be wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yes, I could have used a white plain plate. Uh, knowing the fact that the, why I didn't also use it, knowing the fact that I'm not prepared, that's the reason why I go for a small plate. And knowing the fact that also I'm cooking, um, that's also one of the reasons why I didn't use a uh, plate. Plate. So I use a small plate, you know, like I use a small plate because everything is small. It's just like the fish and the plant. Like I don't have enough, I don't have a lot of excessive space on the plate. So like, you know, persons look at this like, wow, it's a lot of, it's not a lot. It's because the plate is small and I plate all my, my dishes, I plate my meal on the plate so it can look enough. Any what other, I'm saying? Yes, sir. Any other questions? Come in. Any other questions? So overall, how long the fish takes overall? Um, the fish, the fish, and I see the fish took like probably 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Like get all everything cooked together. Cooked. My vegetables have a little crunch and it's not falling apart. See, a pumpkin. See, it's mashed out. So it's easy. So I, I didn't want it this in the pot. So I don't cook it too much. I cook it so it can retain. And my carrot, my carrot should still have a crunchy in it. So, but it's still supposed to have a little crunchy in it. So, estimating on a time like 15 minutes. But it also depends on the type of fish. Questions. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right. I would love to have it now. <laughs> she she wants the meal, chef, so you have to put it on a plane. Come, 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 come. come. Repeat. <laughs> I'm saying you need to send that meal over to the United States. Need a meal. <laughs> well, 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 um, as long as I have a carrier, then no problem. I could also do a lot more and send it to her. <laughs> if it was. Sounds yeah. good. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I must say, Chef, I must say, Chef, you did a wonderful job. Thank you, and I really appreciate it. I second it. that. I agree with that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, we did. And somebody saying that they can smell the food from afar, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> well, you cook your food with smell, you know. You have to, you know, persons have to smell your food. Get you excited. Hmm, this smells good. What are you cooking, you know? Get no, so you get pumped up right now, so you like smells good. I'm sure you're gonna take 
waiting now is like, wow, I really want to try this. So it's like with your eyes, because they always say you eat with your eyes first, you know, and then you taste. So after you do all of that, it's like you're excited like you while you're smelling it, you're tasting the flavor also. Key of cooking. And as I said before, if you're when you're cooking with a knife, feel comfortable. Use a knife comfortable. Don't be shy. Most have a sharp knife and we're like, this knife is too sharp. And then you always cut yourself. But why? Because you are, you're not facing your fears. You're trying to back down and you're trying to show that you're scared. So therefore, damage on yourself before it even happened. So I get comfortable with my knife. I load it. It's very sharp, as I said before. I'm cooking, I just feel doing my own thing. Sometimes when I'm cooking, I'm just listening to my music. Cook, 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 and cook. So anything you do, make sure you're comfortable doing it. Don't try to go overboard. Don't, you know, too special because most times, you know, we always try to go away to try to make something really special. And then, you know, it so happened that all those effort and, you know, looking back, you're like, you know, I never need to put so many effort. Anything you're doing, just make sure you're comfortable doing it. Just do it completely, you know. Add your own tweet to it, you know. You can modify your own recipe. You add your own ingredients, you know. Just feel comfortable. So you're cooking, just feel comfortable. Just cook, do whatever you Just feel comfortable. Great. Yes. Great. Thank you. Anyone have any more questions or have anything else? Any more questions? Any more? Any more? Anything to say? Anything else to say? Oh, chef. Go ahead. Oh, when I see it came out and you say that you were cooking fish, I was like, oh, if you use coconut mm -hmm. milk, I know that he's a good cook because I knew that coconut milk enhanced the flavor. Yes. Yes. I. I with coconut um you also if um if you don't have the coconut milk if you don't have the powder you can also use the tin milk difference with the tin milk now you have to like add it a little water to it because it and therefore it can bubble and float over very easily so you can also use the 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 tin one if you want it's no I, I more recommend the tin milk, not tin milk, the coke itself, the, 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 the liquid one. I more recommend that one because it has in it. It, it, it um, you have more genuine flavor of the powdered one. Because you know, the, 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 the powder coat of, the powder coconut, it process, it goes through a lot of process to get it in the, the, the powder farm. Versus the difference with the liquid, the liquid one. So the liquid one would have more process than the, the the liquid one has more genuine flavor of a coconut than the powder. The persons use the the liquid one, which is no problem, and you know use the powdered one. Most persons use the powdered one because it's more affordable. But as I said before, nothing is wrong with using the liquid one. The li Nothing is wrong with using the powdered one. Nothing is wrong. So, chef. Yes, sir. 
Why don't you grate your own coconut and make your own coconut milk? That would be Okay. Perfect. But you know, like for kids and you know, your mother used to do like potato, pudding and all of them, strictly greater and all of them something. So you would have the more like genuine coconut juice. Right, right. Blend it and make it from scratch. That anyway. So all these things is like more process. Right. And I strongly believe that we human beings should should use genuine stuff than processed stuff because as it, as we all know that most of these processes are healthy for our body. But sometimes it's just the quickest way to get our we, we mostly use all these process things because it's easily processed and you know it's just a pool and then use instead of going and uh, blend some coconut which which we're not doing you know but it's good to use your own coconut um you get more and more flavor and i i i think using your own coconut is the better way and it's well anything natural is very good so that's no doubt all right bro. good great yes, job thank so, you sir appreciate you, it I, I see you use the coconut milk and the coconut oil the coconut oil makes it more rich or something i only use the coconut oil to fry the plantain because as i said oh before, that was just planting oh okay um i this my house i have to mm -hmm cook as healthy as possible because as I said before my mother travels with hypertension. Right. She use much MSG to cook with so that's why I have like pink salt that's which is all, all, yeah the pink salt is know, better than the um regular salt. That's what I use as well. Yeah. Y'all don't know you can check it out. You know it's all natural. Right. Very good. Believe me it's very good. Yeah and that's it's what more healthy. It is more healthier. Yeah. Yes. Because, as I said, I use... um. It's more healthy and more dryer. expensive. Yes, it, it is. It is. Honestly, it is. I'm it not is sure. More it costs. It's not more expensive. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not forcing anyone to go out of them way to buy a pink salt. I'm <laughs> just saying it's, the, it's more healthy. It's all natural. <laughs> Uh, it has zero, it only has um, 550 mg sodium, um, zero hydrates, and zero calories. So as I said, better than the regular salt. So you can look it up, you know, read more. It's all natural, so you can try. Right, any more final questions? We're at the wrap up time. Anything else for Chef Lynn? Yes, go ahead. I'm asking if they have any more questions or comments by the addition to you. And you can repeat your pages so that we can go and follow and like and share. Okay, so um, my YouTube channel. It's um, Chef Anthony Lane, that's L-A-N-E. Everyone heard that? So it's L-A-Y-N-E, not L-A-N-E, it's L-A-Y-N-E. Mm -hmm. uh, my Instagram page is also Chef Anthony Lane. So my Instagram and my YouTube channel is the same. I did my YouTube channel, so you will actually see. Um, my chat is Anthony Lane 8. You can go and follow me. You know, you can keep up on my journey. And I also, I, I do like small caterings for families. You know, I, I do small caterings, not large amount of like, you know, persons with you know ask me to make something for probably a family dinner or just like a one 
stuff like that. So that is what I really do. And small, I don't rush myself to go in anything big that I can't handle. Like small caterings for family. Thank you. Thank you. I hope um, um, we take note of those and really support our Portlander and our friend, um, Mr. Lane. As we are at the end of this evening's wonderful presentation, I would, what I want right now is the fish and the planting. My God, this is what I want right now. But however, we, all good things must come to an end. And I want to just extend a big, big, big thank you to you, Chef Lynn, on behalf of the Port Antonio New Testament Church of God, or diaspora that is watching and viewing with us this evening via Facebook and Instagram and on our Zoom live. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. I want to thank you very much for participating. Thank you very much to Donny and your family. Thank you to everyone who was here and you know made this be a success. Just and hope that we have learned we would have learned something this evening. I know that I had some takeaway, I made some notes because I did not know how to properly do that um fishing the coconut and so I'm going to sharp my skill on that. I'm going to practice that on a later date. So I, Anthony, your, your, your teaching will not go in vain. Um, so thank you very much. As we say, the Lord bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you. Thank you very much. Any final comments? Chef Anthony. All right. Looks like his internet went. Thank you very much. As we say bye bye and see you Monday evening when our singles come out and have a wonderful time. So invite a single friend, tell a single friend about it. We're going to have a wonderful time. Monday evening. Thank you. Bye. Later. Clover Lane, isn't that something going to come tomorrow night? Um, yes, um, marriage. Night. Yes, tomorrow night. Those who are married, Sudani, and the others, Stacey, and those who are married, the Pam and the others, tomorrow night is your night, couples night. It's promises I heard. That it is going to be a wonderful session. So please remember tomorrow night for the couples. At, at what time? Um, I think it's about the same seven. Promises okay. to be good. So don't leave your husband to then grab him. <laughs> I'm not going to be there, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to be there, but I trust that Nathaniel mm -hmm. will send you the information. All right. And, uh, Yes, and you'd have a wonderful time. And I made the earlier about it. Okay. All right, so see you all. All right, tomorrow. you guys take care and be safe. Thank you, you two and your family. Uh, thanks.